salt and pepper, static electricity. So what do we need for this? Some salt, some pepper, a plastic spoon, a woolen cloth. Hey, what are you doing with salt and pepper? Oh no, this naughty boy is mixing salt with the pepper. Oh, I think this is a trap for his elder sister. Never mind, I am a science freak. Now rub the plastic spoon over the woolen cloth. Take the spoon slowly near the mixture, slowly. And yes, the pepper granules are attracted towards the spoon. When you rub plastic on wool, static electricity is generated. Oppositely charged pepper granules are attracted towards the spoon. I can separate salt and pepper in this way easily. The reason? When the spoon is rubbed against the wool, it becomes negatively charged. The salt and pepper are both positively charged, which means they will form a natural attraction to the static from the spoon. When the spoon is slowly placed above the mixture, the pepper particles fly up and attract. Why do the pepper particles attract while the salt doesn't? Pepper particles are much lighter than salt, so they are quicker to attract to the spoon. If you were to bring the spoon closer to the mixture, the heavier salt would eventually cling to it as well. 